Hey, how's it going? It's Sean Bradshaw from CyberFred.com, and in this lesson we're going to take a look at the intro to Wake Me Up When September Ends from Green Day. So let's take a look at the chords for the first part here. Uh, the very first chord is a G5, a G power chord, but probably not in a way that you've played it before. You might know kind of this power chord or the one that actually kind of ends this intro riff like this, but this is actually a G power chord here. You're gonna take your third finger, put it on the fourth string at the fifth fret, and your first finger, on the second string at the third fret. And then we also have the open third string. And that's the first part. We're actually going to be playing this four times before um, the kind of first verse. As far as picking goes, you could pick this all down. The way I pick this is I go down, down, up. And what that does is that last up kind of gets me moving toward the fourth string where I've got to play another note. If I do all downs, what happens is my pick is headed this direction away from where I need to go next. And so uh, kind of the, the smoothest transition of picking is down, down, up, down, down, up. And that's always keeping you moving towards the next place that you need to go. Easiest to think about is all down, but uh, if you want to get a little bit more efficient, try that picking. All right, so after we play that four times, we get into um, the, the first part of the verse here. And we play the first uh, four chords here. What happens is that third fret on the second string stays consistent. We do have to ch kind of change fingers uh, depending on which chord we're on, but we start off with the same chord that we had already, and then the next chord, kind of a name for it, you call it G5 slash F sharp if you wanted to. Um, there's some other names that we could come up with for it, but basically what we're doing is we're lowering that fourth string by a half step. I'm taking my second finger, putting it on the fourth string at the fourth fret, and playing that chord. The next chord, which is an E minor 7, what I have to do is switch which finger I'm uh, using for that third fret on the second string. And what I'm going to do is use my third finger on that third fret on the second string, and then use my first finger on the second fret of the fourth string. The last one's easy enough, it's just a G5 slash D, and I just let go of my first finger. Now that first part is fairly easy, you just, the key problem that most people have is just not getting enough on the tip of their fingers so that that uh, third string is ringing open. The next part involves dreaded bar chords, so... Uh, Sometimes when I'm teaching this to very beginning guitar players, I kind of stop here and say, well, we'll get to the bar chord part later. But you can <laughs> be a trooper and play the bar chords now. All right, so the bar chords that we have are a C major with a root on the fifth string here. So first finger is on the fifth string at the third fret, and then my third finger is going to bar across the fourth, third, and second strings at the fifth fret. And then we're going to go to a C minor chord, where uh, first finger still stays on that third fret of the fifth string, third fret on the fifth fret of the fourth string, pinky on the fifth fret of the third string, and then second finger here on the second string at the fourth fret. 
this little section sounds a little beetle-ish. All right, so we got the picking that we've got here is we're gonna go down, down, up, up, down, up. We do the same thing on the C minor with the exception is the very last thing that we play is actually some open strings as we make a transition to a G5 chord. That takes you from the C minor shape that's going on to get to this open position G5 and for this one same picking as the uh, C in the C minor. And then that actually uh, repeats a couple of times before going on to something different uh, for the chorus. But that will give you the intro and the first verse to wake me up when September ends. Some kind of cool sounding chords for those first chord utilizing those open strings. All right, so have some fun with that. And uh, I actually don't want to sleep until October because it's going to start getting cold. And uh, that doesn't sound like any fun. Have a good one.